Waders, along with warblers, share the dubious honour of being the most confusing and worrying groups of birds to identify, especially to people new to bird watching. This ID video is going to look at the two common species Dunlin and Knot in order to lay the foundation for identifying other waders and becoming confident in tackling the other species. We generally see most Knot and Dunlin in non-breeding plumage, so we will be concentrating principally on this. In the non-breeding season, Dunlin are extremely common on coastal habitats, but are also sometimes found inland on gravel pits and nature reserves, for instance. Generally found in flocks, Dunlin can occasionally be found individually. They are smallish waders, with a body size similar to a starling, and are nicely proportioned. The beak is relatively long and slightly down-curved. The medium-length legs are black, and the closed wings are the same length as the tail. During the non-breeding season, Dunlin can be found in three different plumages, juvenile, first winter, and adult winter. But as most juvenile Dunlin will already be molting into first winter plumage when they arrive on our shores, we shall be concentrating on the last two. Adult winter Dunlin are a plain grey above, with clean white bellies, although be aware some individuals can show odd black feathers on the belly, especially in the autumn or towards the spring. There is a small amount of grey on the sides of the chest that forms a very weak breast band. The head is soft and plain, with no strong markings. The eye is large, giving the bird a cute look. First winter birds have a more patterned tortoiseshell plumage, with dark centred brown feathers on the back and wing. Often there is a mix of brown, chestnut and grey feathers, and there can be whitish stripes on the back as well, although these are never particularly obvious. The chest is buffy coloured with spotting, and often there is blotching on the white belly a ghost, if you like, of the adult breeding plumage. Like the adult, the face is lacking in strong features, but is buffy coloured, with white in front of the eye. Small numbers of Dunlin breed in the UK on upland and moors, and birds can be found coming into breeding plumage from early spring. Then, increasing numbers of dark centred bright chestnut feathers with pale edges can be found on the back, and the belly becomes black the chest black spotted and the head cap also becoming chestnut. In all plumages Dunlin look agile in flight with weak white wing bars. The rump is white but there is an obvious black central stripe running from the back to the central tail feathers. In the winter birds in flight can look silver and white as the flocks turn but when in breeding plumage the black bellies are obvious. The other very common species is not. This is a bigger wader, with a body size approaching that of a blackbird. Not are found around the coast, principally on tidal flats, and can form large flocks. At some favoured locations, flock size is enormous, and the sight of the birds swirling around at roost is one of the great wildlife spectacles in the UK. In all plumages, not appear stocky and almost out of proportion with heavy bodies, short necks, relatively short straight bills and short stumpy legs. In adult winter plumage, not a plain silver grey above with a white belly, grey breastband and grey head with an indistinct white supercilium and dark feathering between the eye and bill. Legs are a murky grey-green colour, although they are often covered in mud and can appear darker. First winter birds share the same silver grey overall colouring but each back and wing covert feather has a narrow black crescent near the tip with a white outer edge, giving a beautiful scalloped appearance. No knot breed in the UK, but in spring and late summer, some breeding plumage birds can be encountered. In full breeding plumage, the birds are chestnut red underneath and on the head, with varying numbers of chestnut black patterned feathers on the back scattered among the grey feathers. This plumage leads to the American name of the bird being red knot. In flight, the dark outer wing contrasts with the paler inner wing and the rump appears grey, not contrasting with the back or tail. Familiarity with these two species, especially when in transition between breeding plumage and winter plumage, when the birds can look very different to the pictures in field guides, is essential in order to identify many of the other wader species. 
Dunlin in particular can almost be considered the default small wader, and all the other species, such as curly sandpiper, sandling and the stints that we will be covering in future videos, will be compared back to Dunlin.